All right, if you're using Google Sheets, sometimes you want to sum a column of values based on a certain condition. So we'll have several different examples that we're going to go through. And you can grab a copy of this template if you want. It'll be at sheetshelp.com. In between what's on sheetshelp.com and what's on this YouTube channel, you should be able to learn everything you need to know about Google Sheets. All right, so let's jump into this example. We have a column of numbers here. And we're also going to use this for our criteria. So I'll tell you what that means. We'll, we'll delete the result that was in there as an example. And we're going to say every item that has 12 units or more is going to need to go in a container. So let's say you're working at the warehouse and you need to pack everything that's 12 or more. So when we sum these numbers, you want to ignore the eight and ignore the five. So there's a function custom built for this. So instead of having to start this with an if and then build the statement from there, you can just go straight to sum if. It already knows that it's going to be adding. And the first argument that it wants is the range. So this is the range that it's going to use to evaluate the condition. So what range does it want to look at to see if it's greater than 12? All right, so I selected B5 through B9 in this case. I'll hit a comma. And the criterion, which I just learned in doing this is singular for criteria, but I'll probably go into say criteria. Criterion just sounds weird to me. But the criteria, I'll say criteria. The criteria is that it needs to be greater than or equal to 12. Well, one of the odd things about this function is that you need to enclose that in parentheses. It's not a traditional statement. They separated these by commas to make it maybe a little bit easier, but the odd thing is you end up having to put things in quotes but we'll say greater than or equal to 12. End it with a quote. And then if you come down and look at the function help, the last piece that it wants is called the sum range, but it's in those square brackets and that's telling us that it's optional. So you would use that if the column that you're looking at for the criterion is different than what you're adding, but in this case, it's the same. So in some examples that we'll go through here in a minute, uh, they'll be different, but for now, we're done with this function. We'll close it off with the parentheses and hit enter. So what this has done, this has evaluated each one. It picks up the ones that I'm highlighting. And if you come in the lower right hand corner, we can double check ourselves and see that those sum to 64. All right, so that's how you do the most simple version of sum if. And then we'll come down here and what we're going to do, sorry about the scrolling. I'm actually gonna make this a little bit bigger so you don't have other stuff on your screen. All right, now what we want to do is we want to sum these values if the values in column A are equal to peach. Okay, so basically we want to see how many peaches we have. Let's delete this formula now. We're going to write it and talk about it. So again, we're going to use the sum if. And now these two different ranges are going to make a little bit more sense because when you're looking for peaches, the sum range, which are the numbers that are behind here, let me... Get rid of this. It doesn't have the word peach in it, right? So you can't be looking at that. So what we want to do is pick up A18 through A22 for the sum range. And then the criteria, you don't need an equal sign because of, again, the weird way that this is designed. But you do need a quote because this is a string. Peach. We'll end it. And now you need a sum range because if you add up this range, which is the numbers, obviously you're not going to get to what you want. So now you're saying, look, you already looked through this column. You found which ones you want to add, but the ones I want you to add are in B18 through B22. All right, the function is done. We'll close it off and you get 36. Okay, so if we check that, you have eight and you have 28 and those are 36. So we'll scroll down to the next example here. It gets a little bit trickier and it all comes back to the way that you need to formulate these functions. So if this was A29 through A32 and less than the date without the comma, it would be a more traditional construction, but it's not. So you'll have to pay even more close attention when you're using a date. And here what we want to do is say, we want to sum all of these when the order was placed before February 5th, 2022. Okay, so we will start it with a sum if again. And the range with the criteria, criterion is A29 through A33. 
And here it's supposed to be greater than February 6th, right? But it's not very straightforward how you do that because you need to say greater than first and then join that with an ampersand to the date. And the date can be a cell reference and you wouldn't need quotes or this, or we're just going to hard type this one in. So 2-6-2022, that does need quotes around it. And then that's your criterion. And then we'll pick the sum range again and close it off. So we'll check this every, everything after February 6th, which would be February 7th. And there's two of those and those sum to 28. All right. So that's everything after a date. And the last thing that you can do is you can match just part of the text. So the sum if function accepts wild cards and those are an old concept. You may be familiar with them. And when you search for files, right, or you do a search on the internet, you can use these wildcards. And what we'll do in this case is, is we're going to sum everything that has the word pumpkin and then anything after that word, right? So we'll start with sum if again. Our range will be A40 through A44, and then our criteria will be uh, pumpkin. And then an asterisk still within the quotes in the quote off. And then we'll give it the sum range. All right, close that off. And what this has done is this has picked up the pumpkin pie and the pumpkin cookies and summed it to a total of 18. So if you find yourself looking for more than one criterion, so criteria in this case, if you want pumpkin pie and let's say you have an order date column over here, or maybe the name of a customer, and you need to pick up both of those, so it would need to match pumpkin and this criterion, we're going to go over how to do that in this next video using a function called sum ifs. I'll see you in that next video. Thanks for watching.